So, uh, this is uh, an observation to keep in mind, right. Now, let us see how uh, uh, people exploit that uh, this observation and uh, the idea is the following I am going to I am going to uh, illustrate with uh, n equal to 3 or this is often what is called a three path system where the idea is to take the same LPTV system let us say this is R of T all right all right. Uh, so, I exit this by e to the j 2 pi f t. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to have a copy and paste of the same system except with a small twist. Now, I am going to delay it by r of t minus t s by 3 all right. So, this is L p t v at f s which is 1 over t s right. So, let us call this uh, v o 1, this is v o 2. And uh, now I am going to have a third chap here, which is also the same system, except that this is delayed by 2 T s by 3. Right, so this is V O. Now, V O 1 as we will denote is simply H sub k of j 2 pi f e to the j 2 pi k f s times t. V O 2 is sum over k H sub k of j 2 pi f e to the minus j 2 pi times what is the uh, the delay is T s by 3 times f s right times e to the j 2 pi k f s times T all right. And the third one is simply going to be H sub k of j 2 pi f e to the minus j 2 pi 2 T s by 3 times f s times e to the j 2 pi k f s times t. all right. And uh, uh, if let us simplify this before we uh, go further, what is this? this uh, T s times F s is going to uh, uh, go away. So, this is uh, can be replaced by e to the minus j 2 pi by 3 and this by the same token becomes e to the minus j 4 pi by times k, I forgot the k, all right. Now, it is very interesting to see what happens when I, let us say we add up. So, we take V o 1, we take V o 2, we 
take VO3 add all these things together all right and uh, uh, so let's see what we get I mean clearly if I put this whole thing inside a box This is also an LPTV system, correct? Yeah, of course, because each one of those systems is varying periodically. So it follows that when you put three of them in a box and add up their outputs, it's also an LPTV system. And what is the rate at which the system is varying? Each one will vary. The big box. The big box will vary at three. The big box? Will vary at three. I mean, we don't know anything yet. So individually, everything inside is varying at fs. So the output also, I mean, this technically speaking, this is also an LPTV system that varies with, varies at the rate fs. But there's something very uh, special about this, as we'll see going forward. So you know, a reasonable question to ask is, you know, what are the harmonic transfer functions of this composite LPTV system, right? Which is simply formed by taking three LPTV systems and putting them together. Right? Of course, there is something special about these three things inside, right? which is what we will, uh, uh, which makes it interesting. Uh, but let us see what uh, the, uh, the harmonic transfer functions are. So what, are, what is H, uh, let us call the harmonic transfer functions of this box, right? I mean, uh, uh, remember that, uh, the, I mean, uh, even though I have shown this as uh, three separate inputs, you know, what I actually mean is that I am going to drive all these boxes with the same input. In other words, I short the inputs together And this is my e to the j 2 pi f t. All right. So, uh, so this is an LPTV system uh, which varies at fs, and I have an input. And a reasonable question to ask is, what are the what are the harmonic transfer functions of this LPTV system? Clearly, they must be related to the to the harmonic transfer functions of the individual boxes inside. And let's find out what uh, they are. So let's so uh, uh, and uh, let's call this uh, uh, h hat of j two pi f k e to the j two pi k f s times t. That is this output here. Correct. And uh, so, I will make a table. So, with k equal to 0, what do we see? Oh, well, at k equal to 0, this is uh, what comes out here is simply uh, h0. What comes out here is also h0. And what comes out here is also h0. So when you add all the three up, what do you get? You get h hat 0 of j 2 pi f is simply 3 h0 of j 2 pi f. All right. Now let us uh, see what happens the first harmonic transfer function, what you get here is h1 of j 2 pi f times e to the j 2 pi f s times t uh, plus f. Uh, what you get here is h1 e to the minus j 2 pi by 3, right. 
So, in other words, if you put e to the j 2 pi f t here, what you get is h 1 uh, times this times j 2 pi f plus f s times t. This is e to the j 2 pi again f plus f s times t and what you get here is h 1 e to the minus j 4 pi by 3 e to the j 2 pi f plus f s times all right. So, when you now these are all three complex sinusoids with the same frequency. So, when you add them it is simply adding the phasors right. So, if you assume that uh, h 1 was some complex number like that correct. What is h 1 e to the minus j 2 pi by 3? It will be 120 degrees phase shifted ok. So, this is h 1 e to the minus j 2 pi by 3 and the next one will have the same magnitude is h 1 e to the minus j 4 pi by 3 ok. And when you add all the 3 together you basically get 0. So, for k equal to 1 h 1 hat of j 2 pi f equal to 0 ok. Now, for k equal to 2 what do we see? Well, you in the original one you get h 2 of j 2 pi f e to the j 2 pi f plus 2 f s times t. Here you will get h 2 uh, e to the minus j 4 pi by 3 e to the j 2 pi f plus 2 f s times t and likewise here you will get h 2 e to the minus 8 pi by 3 my 8 pi by 3 is the same as 2 pi by 3 e to the j 2 pi f plus 2 f s times hmm. So, again we see that uh, we have some say h 2 like this h 2 minus j 4 pi by 3 is minus uh, 240 degrees h 2 it is the minus j 4 pi by 3 and this is h 2 e to the minus j 2 pi by 3 and if you add all the 3 again you see that h 2 hat which again let me remind you is the second harmonic transfer function of this composite box which is taken 3 of the original systems uh, each delayed with respect to each other by one third the clock period and what is so sacred about one third we have 3 such boxes. So, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the delay is related to the number of boxes by T s by 3. Hmm? So, uh, and uh, now if we look at k equal to 3 what comment can we make? Well, I am going to now, now I think you can see the uh, pattern emerging. Uh, I am going to erase all this. This becomes h 3 uh, and uh, e to the j 2 pi f plus 3 f s times t. This becomes h 3 times e to the minus j 2 pi which is the same which is 1. So, which basically is e and 
and this will also be e to the minus uh, this will be 1 because e to the minus j 4 pi is 1. So, this is e to the j 2 pi times f plus 3 f s times t. So, when you add the 3 up you basically will get h 3 hat of j 2 pi f is nothing but 3 h 3 of j 2 pi all right. So, if you draw the input output diagram therefore, the frequency uh, plot therefore, uh, the original system basically let us say this was f, f plus f s, f plus 2 f s, f plus 3 f s, and so on. In the original system, we had a frequency f here and uh, the output frequency grid basically originally we had something like this all right and uh, so this was h0 uh, this was h1 this is h2, this is h3, h minus 1, h minus 2, h minus 3 and so on right. Now, by combining 3 such systems with uh, the time variation delayed by T s by 3. What have we done? The effective system has these numbers, the h hats for all those have gone right or let me erase this and then draw a separate picture, I will copy paste. So, this was uh, the original system, this is the, the three path system and the three path system we have eliminated this guy h1 minus 1, h minus 2, h1, h2 right and similarly all other paths which are not multiples of 3 right ok. So, the original output could be thought of as h sub k of j 2 pi f e to the j 2 pi k f s times t right all right. Now, we have a composite system if we call that we out hat, what can we say? It is only, uh, uh, yeah, we can write this as uh, for, uh, for L, right, uh, which is only a multiple of 3. So, H sub L of J, 3 H sub L of J 2 pi F e to the 
j 2 pi times 3 f s times l times t correct because this is only valid for k equal to 3 times f correct. So, if you pardon l has l can be any integer. Uh, 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 oh, sorry. I think L must be of the form uh, no, H three L. This must be H three L. That's true. That's true. H three L, right? And uh, 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 of J two pi f times e to the J two pi three f s times L times t. Correct. So. Uh, so, if you now look at this picture, this equation, what uh, I mean, you can think of this as being an LPTV system which is varying with a fundamental frequency of And therefore, now let us uh, uh, take a look. Uh, right now, if you see uh, in the original network, if you saw an output at a frequency f, it could be coming from any input of the form f plus kfs. So, it could be f plus fs, f plus 2fs, f plus 3fs, and so on. Now, what do we see? Well, it can only be coming from f plus 3 f s times l, right. So, the number of frequencies from which the input could be coming is reduced by a factor of 3, correct. Uh, and uh, another way of thinking about it uh, is the following and that is that uh, this composite system even though technically it is uh, a system that is varying at f s, right, it appears to the external world as if it is varying at, at thrice the frequency, correct. Uh, but if you stare inside the box, there is nothing here in the box which runs at, at 3 f s. Everything is running at f s, right, it is just that by delaying, uh, uh, by adding appropriate delays, it can and you add them all together it uh, uh, basically appears as if it is running at a rate which is 3 times faster, right. So, I mean an analogy is that uh, uh, you know if you have a factory for instance, correct, uh, you know uh, there are 24 hours in a day and if you have only one shift, it is uh, you know uh, whatever the periodicity with which people come in and go out of the factory is uh, uh, is basically uh, you know uh, uh, once every day right it, it looks like 1 hertz if you think of uh, uh, you know every day being equal to uh, you know equal to a second right now if you have three shifts right the morning shift comes from 6 and goes home at 2 uh, the afternoon shift comes in at 2 and goes home at 10 and uh, the the third shift basically uh, uh, shows up at at uh, 10 and then goes home at uh, 6 in the morning and if you look at the traffic pattern, you can see that it is 3 times as high as what you would get if you just had one shift, right. So, it appears as if uh, you know things are running much faster than, than, uh, uh, than a single shift and of course, the output is also 3 times higher because you are adding up the contribution of, of, of all the 3 shifts, correct. Uh, and one thing that to bear in mind is that uh, this we have this effective cancellation of, of many of these paths, right? Correct. We have gotten rid of them, but how have we gotten rid of them? We have gotten rid of them by cancellation. So, we have added three things precisely in the right uh, magnitude and angle that when you add them together, they all become 0, right? So, whenever you have a system which achieves 0 by cancellation, such a system is always going to be affected by mismatch, right. So, if for instance, these three uh, are not exactly identical, right or for instance, the phase uh, difference is not exactly 
T s by 3 right then the addition will not be the cancellation will not be perfect and uh, you will see some small residual uh, uh, you know uh, uh, terms there and then you can you will not be justified in writing this as uh, thinking of this as a uh, as an LPTV system that works at 3 fs right it is still an LPTV system that works at fs but every uh, you know uh, yeah every non multiple of 3 will have a gain which is actually much much smaller than what you would get when the harmonic transfer function has an order which is a multiple of 3 all right uh, so with this i will stop we'll continue tomorrow